Well, we're going to be excited to start this okay. Like Jody said, I'm Tina, this is Adriano, I'm with a, we're with a website called winsrates.com. Um, been in operation for five years, promote local restaurants and eateries. So, um, I have it timed almost perfect, so I don't want to start too soon. But anyways, um, in October, uh, Drown and I were invited to attend the Creative Cities Conference in Detroit and had the opportunity to hear some really great speakers. One of those speakers was John Hawkins, who is a noted author on the creative economy. And from his talk, we pulled four key messages that we thought related to the experience in a city. And the first is, enjoy the city, then know the city, use the city, sustain the city. So the first, enjoy your city. The photos we've chosen are photos we've taken in our city and in our region. And they are things we love about where we live, but they are also photos we've taken in other cities things that we've loved there and would love to see brought back to them. Um, our topic is that it doesn't solely pertain to food. What we, when we say eat your city, what we mean is we want you to savor it, we want you to indulge in it, we want you to experience the city. We want you to experience everything it has to offer, to take in all the aspects of our city and the surrounding region and everything that makes it great. A city for Adriano and I, based on our website, is all about food. So for us, it's the restaurants, the cafes, the pubs, the farmers markets. All these things help in defining a city for us. So when I visit someplace new, someplace new, I don't really look for the nearest Applebee's or the Outback, and I don't come back thinking, wow, I had the best Big Mac ever in Rome, and it was phenomenal. And it doesn't even come close to that. So I always tell people that when you travel, when Actually, I tell people that you can travel the world without even leaving our city. The cultural diversity in the city is outstanding and contributes to the great choices we have in our restaurants. You can find everything here. And each locally owned restaurant provides the makeup of our city and helps to define it to outsiders. It helps give a sense of what our city is. Um, and through Windsor Eats, we've created a guide to finding that authentic dining experience. And we want people to have an experience outside of the generic formula restaurant. <laughs> Right, you want to know your city? Take a walk, get on your bike, even hop in the car and, and go out to the county and see what, what the surrounding region has to offer. The best way to appreciate your city and region is to experience what it has to give you. And let me tell you, you might not know, but Windsor and Essex County actually has a lot to give. Last year, we introduced, as you can see on the picture here, uh, the Windsor East Wine Trail Rides. They were a huge success. And we believe they were because people want to know more about the region they live in or are visiting. <clears throat> We've had people not only from Essex County come on our rides, but across Michigan and across Ontario. Through these rides, they were able to sample wines from the multiple local wineries, uh, all while cycling the back roads and taking in the sights, the sounds, the smells and the flavors of Essex County. Now bringing it back to the city, we also introduced our city cycle ride with Scale Down, I saw Chris right over here, <laughs> which coincided with Doors Open Windsor. We got on our bikes and rode to different heritage spots throughout Windsor. We even stopped at a couple local restaurants along the way. Now, there may have only been about six of us on this <laughs> ride, <laughs> but it gave us an opportunity to ride through our city, speak with people, and connect to our city's heritage, taking in sites we may not have otherwise visited. It was exciting, and that is exactly what we need, to get people excited about their city. You need, to make, you need to make your values visible. An example of this is in Chicago. Mayor Richard Daly made, <clears throat> has made the greening of the city his top priority and has planted trees and flowers everywhere. I mean everywhere. Um, city Hall is not only outfitted with its own flower boxes, but also has a rooftop garden. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, another example is in Arcata, California, where a bylaw was in place that limits the amount of chain restaurants that are left in the community. Uh, if the limit is reached and one chain restaurant uh, wants to come in, another one has to close before that's able to happen. Okay, so we're on Use Your City. Um, we have a lot going on in Essex County and Windsor, like Adriano says, but it's always frustrating to hear people say something negative, and we've all heard it before. I hate living here, I want to move out of the city, and there's nothing to do. And I always say, nothing to do. That is a complete farce, because there is plenty to do here. Every week I update our event guide on Windsor Eats and I am amazed at the amount of things that are going on in this area. This month alone has been packed with so many cultural events and take example for example this weekend. Um, Court Productions had a show last weekend that sold out, uh, The Best Man, and it's playing again this weekend. Um, St. Clair Graphic Arts students are holding an exhibition at the Art Gallery of Windsor. The Labour Arts Festival is taking place. There's a black tie bingo, an international peace skate. Factor Canada is holding a workshop. And there's a national street hockey tournament. And that's just one weekend. And
and it's only scratching the surface. Turn page. Uh, <laughs> we always encourage everyone to go to the festivals, head out to the local restaurants, go to the county and check out the wineries. We need to make use of what is already here. Nurture the things that are in our midst. The restaurants, the theaters, the art, the music, it's all here and it's everything that makes our city great. We are telling the, the story of our community through food. We are in essence storytellers. But we are just a piece of the story. There are many different stories to be told and everyone here has a piece to contribute to that story. We need to tell people about the great things that are happening, but we also need to enjoy them for ourselves. Now think about the last city you visited or vacationed to. What did you like about it? Was it the people, the sense of community, the, the great restaurants, cafes, or pubs, uh, how a vibrant nightlife? Uh, theater, music, and arts, were they there? Uh, or was it that you didn't even need a car to get around and you walked everywhere? Now think about Windsor. Do we have the same things you loved about the city you visited? If not, why and what do we need to do to get it to make our city like those we love to visit? It's time to stop whining and complaining and start doing. People are willing to travel thousands of kilometers and spend thousands of dollars to experience those things, but shun it in their own city. We need to nourish and nurture our own culture, our own artists, and our own, own local businesses. Don't see something you like? Create it! We are the ones that make the city. It is up to us as citizens to create the kind of city we want to live in. Change does not come from the top down, but it happens from the bottom up. Mahatma Gandhi once said, be the change you want to see in the world. As residents, we need to make the change we want to see in our city. We need to stop placing limits, limitations on ourselves. If you want something, make it happen. Let's frequent our local businesses and favor the generic national stores. Let's create renewed vibrancy on the streets with vendors and, and artists selling their wares in the streets. Let's convince our shop owners to say enough with the bland backlit plastic signs and <laughs> decorated and designed storefronts. Let's create a truly local renaissance. We are the ones who need to lead. We are the ones who must decide, and we are the ones who matter. Thanks. Thanks.